931, welcome back. 84% of all fire services in Texas are provided by volunteer fire departments. According to FEMA, that makes the Lone Star State one of the top rated states in the whole country. Members of the Ata Bear County Line Volunteer Fire Department risk their lives every time they answer the call and respond to an emergency. And now, thanks to a grant program, they have a new 2.5 ton military vehicle that's been transformed into a firefighting machine. Next, Massey met up with the Ata Bear County crew to talk about what they do or why they do what they do and how this new unit can help. Last year, we had 100 calls that were both fire and medical. Bill Lay is a medical officer for the local volunteer fire department. I joined originally um, in 1995 to be able to serve the community that I lived in. These guys are some of the first on the scene when emergencies pop up. When Bill isn't battling flames like these and trying to save lives, he's a building inspector and an animal control officer to pay the bills. But he always stays ready for the call. I keep what they call technical rescue equipment with me or technical gear due to the fact that I'm usually, if I'm on a fire scene, I'm usually doing medical rehab. And now Bill and his team have a huge new piece of equipment all meant to keep their community safe. It is a new apparatus that we got from the State Forestry Service. It is a 1994 Stuart Stevens. It is a heavy brush truck designed to go off road. And one of the most unique parts of this vehicle is that it can inflate or deflate the tires depending on the conditions just by the press of a button. We have a lot of sand, a lot of heavy brush as you can see around us. So this truck allows us to be able to maneuver in that sand and not get stuck as prevalent as some of the smaller trucks do that you see. We have cross country, we have snow. It's actually been a problem for the squad in the past. There's been times that we have been out on grass fires where we've gotten stuck in the smaller trucks. And that's not the only advantage of this beast. We carry 500 gallons of water with 10 gallons of foam on this truck. We have a pump that is isolated from the truck, so if the truck does go down, we're able to still use the pump and be able to defend ourselves if something was to happen. The hope is that this will not only keep their neighbors safe, but it will also protect these men who put their lives on the line every time they answer the call. All right, that's super coolness. Yeah, yeah. It is. Max <laughs> joining us live. Max, what were the biggest takes, takeaways from your story? You know, we've done stories with volunteer firefighters in the past, but it, it was really just cool to see all of the devotion, the dedication that these guys have. You know, the unsung heroes of the community where, you know, there are grass fires. There are certain situations that they have to get to. And thanks to this, this new device, this new beast, mm -hmm. they're able to get to it. And just to hear kind of the enthusiasm, like, we are so excited that we get to help more people, that we won't have to worry more about our own lives and worry more about the community. It's amazing. Like you told us there's a little fun fact about our story that maybe <laughs> folks may not know, right? So in today's age of technology, everyone has an iPhone. Most people have an iPhone. I got a new phone. My camera upgraded. The guy at the Verizon store actually made fun of me because my phone was so old. <laughs> but one of the best parts is the camera upgraded, and a lot of that was shot in my phone. Oh, very cool. You wouldn't have known that. Yeah, there you go. A little insider info. Thank you for that. Broadcast quality iPhone camera. Thanks, guys. Good job, Thank Max. Thank you, Max.